whether you drive a Volkswagen or you drive a Bentley, the road remains the same, doesn't it? Whether you speak on a Samsung or you speak on an iPhone X, whoever you're calling remains the same, isn't it? Whether you're flying economy or you're flying business, the destination where you're heading remains the same, isn't it? Whether you're wearing a simple fast track or you wear an Omega or a Rolex, the time remains the same, isn't it? It's quite amazing how we work ourselves up so much with increasing the standard of living that we forget to increase the standard of our life. And which is why wherever I travel, I make an appeal to people. There's nothing wrong with an Omega. There's nothing wrong with a Bentley. God bless you with that. And if you have it, drive it. No problem. But in trying to enhance and increase and improvise the standard of your living, please, please, do not compromise with the standard of your life. It's not the standard of your living that makes you happy. It's the standard of your life that makes you happy. And very often, we forget to give attention to those things that can truly make us happy. Which is why uh, I, 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 I always say, things that I'm talking about, they have utility value, right? Not happiness value. Travel business class or first class? Is good. Travel, no problem. Drive a Bentley, no problem. But in doing so, never, ever compromise on those principles that also improve the standard of your life. And therefore, I always say, some people are so poor, so poor, so absolutely poor that all they have is money. That's all they have. That's all they have. I consider that life a poverty-stricken life. If all you have is money, you're the poorest person in the world. Because there's more to life than money. And there's way more to life than what money can buy. And therefore, I many times say, if you want to truly know how rich you are, drop a tear and see how many hands come forth to wipe that tear. Ladies and gentlemen, our happiness, our happiness and our increased standard of life is not in things, it's in people. It's relationships. It's meaningful, heartfelt, deep bondings of love. That bring fulfillment to the heart. It's those meaningful exchanges of love that we share with each other in relationships. That brings true joy to the heart. And isn't it the greatest irony? It's something that brings in the greatest fulfillment. We very conveniently neglect in just running after increasing and enhancing our standard of living.